Good afternoon. Anybody up for how I did this look? It's nice and like lifting for the eye. Little brown, little orange. Anybody? Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I always like to say good morning, even when it's not morning time. I don't know why. Just let me get it out of my system. <laughs> it feels weird to see myself half and half, especially with lips. And I haven't had the opportunity to really, like, have a good makeup sesh. So I thought, let's do it today. I did get the rest of my Timu order in. And from Beauty Tips, I got... Um, my collab package for um, for my nails, so I can't wait to show you guys that soon. I don't think I uh, blended my brows that well. I'm really excited to try this out. So, have you guys seen the light therapy <clears throat> masks? I really want to try this out and see if it's any good. You know, sometimes they say it's supposed to be good for acne and fine lines and wrinkles depending on what light you use and I really don't know uh if they're as good as what they say they are or even if Timu even offers the same type but we may have to go do a skincare sesh with this pretty soon and give our best reviews at least what we think of it I will be really really interested to see if it works any good it's the LED um, and we'll see, uh, later, I guess. Let me know if you think we should do a video review on this and tell me what your thoughts are. Do you think that light therapy works? They say it does. I don't know if this is the same kind of technology as the legit ones, but we're going to try it out. Come say hey. Good afternoon. Okay, so we're going to use, uh, this is really like a three eyeshadow um, tutorial. And so if you're all for not having to use a whole palette, but you still have the palette um, at your opportunity to create lots of looks, that's great because this is one of my favorites. It's the Volume 3 Moodstruck Beloved palette. Um, I'll be excited to know if they have anything new coming out for Valentine's Day, believe it or not. That is just a blink away. So I will be showing you what is coming up on that with specials soon, but if you've ever been afraid of uh, metallics and shimmers, this is going to help because it's going to give you a nice muted eye that will lift up your eye. All right. It'll also warm up your skin if you are uh, either not a self-tanning guru or you can actually still be self-tanning and then um, apply this over the top. That's why I love these drops. You can totally apply your makeup right over the top. These are the tanning drops. If you need a good tanner in your life while you're waiting on summer and spring, just say tan or glow and I will send you the details. In the meantime, let's go ahead and get started. Say, hey, let me know how your day is going today. Uh, it's been an interesting month. That's all I'm going to say for this one. Um, I got home, uh, yesterday and, uh, hubby did the teaching for me. And so that was a nice little reprieve. All right. So I'm going to show you how you don't always have to use moisturizers and, um, other things to put your tanner on. Uh, but you can use a skincare supplement. This is going to be beauty oil. So it's really good for your skin oil um, that helps. It's a plant-based oil. So it's going to help towards um, regenerative purposes. So like if you have some scar tissue, some acne uh, scarring, um, sun spotting, this is going to be great for brightening, for hydrating. And it just takes it to a new level. You can pair this with your moisturizer and you're going to put your drops in it. And it's just going to help not only to give you the warm glow of the tanning, but it's also going to be great alone for um, brightening, youthfulness, anti-aging, all the things that help to um, revitalize your skin and help towards youthfulness rather than vice versa uh, or opposite of. Okay, so I'm just going to find something to put this in. And if you ever see how nasty my skincare tops are, it's because I do this. You could use a different option, but I like to use my lids uh, to mix my self-tanning drops in instead of getting it all over my hand. I have it 
oh, an old aspirin cap. So why don't we use that? Don't ask me why that's in there. I have no idea. <laughs> Do you have weird things just laying around the house? You're like, I have no idea why this is around. I have the weirdest things. Okay, so I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's really eight. I just squeezed the whole thing. About a full dropper is eight drops or a little bit more. That's how I know. That's why I counted so weird. And then I'm going to put my beauty oil. I only have them down to the last segments of this. And I'm just going to mix that in for my skincare. This stuff is actually in your, um, what's it called? It's in the liquid foundation, so that's why we have skincare in our liquid foundation into why it's so hydrating. Because it adds the extra nourishment of the beauty oil, and the beauty oil is great to pair with that moisturizer, like I was saying, if you need extra hydration in your skin, if it's super dry. Alright, so I'm just going to kind of do what you may have seen other people do in the past. If you've not, this is called um, self-tanner contouring. And I just kind of apply it sort of the strip where my cheek is to like where the top of my ear is. And then I kind of go over along the hairline where my temple is, go along the jaw. And then we're going to kind of come down on the back of the neck. And it's actually very soothing too. I could like fall asleep like this. Have you ever wanted to fall asleep when, uh, like the hairstylist was washing your scalp? Oh my God. Just put any kind of hands on my head and I'm just out for the count. All right. So I've been a little bummed, uh, this last couple of days, really just because my mom's not in the bin, the best help. We're praying that the doctors are on their way to helping with that. Um, January is already just one of those months that it's kind of blah anyways and so I've been trying to work on self-development and um going for personal development with podcasts as well as maybe uh, more scripture reading because I can, lord knows we need that no matter what right let me go ahead and put some of this eye cream on because even though my eyes are looking pretty good they're a little needing of some pick me up right here so we're just gonna add that but I just, I just have not been feeling the most highest of energy because of that. And so anything to help boost the spirits, I am all for. If you're going through something too, let me know and I'll either pray for you separately. Just say prayers or you can put your prayer request down below or you can message me. All right. When I do my self tanning for the, um, the mousse I usually just actually do my arms and kind of like my chest area and around the face sometimes the legs but it's just because I don't wear a lot of shorts during the winter time even barely the summer either but um that is usually what I'll do I'll add it to like my uh what's it called kabuki brush um but I was trying to look for my tanning mitt and I think it's in the bathroom so we're not going to do that today Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. I added some of that moisturizer. I like to take a second or two and let that sit. Got our eye cream on. Let's go ahead and um, show you how to do this look. I am going to do this before we put on the foundation so you can clean up this area. Okay, so this is really easy. All you're going to want is your palette nine. It's the Addiction Mood Struck palette number nine. And we're going to start by, you can use this as your extra eyeshadow if you want to, or you can skip this version, but this is just like going to be where our base shadow is. I'm going to add a little bit. What is that? I'm going to add a little bit of my um, eye primer on because it helps if you're going to wear a more stunning eyeshadow to put on your eye primer so it stays on longer. So I'm going to do that real quick. It'll help to keep it nice and vibrant too. All right, that was fast and easy. We're gonna use that to grip everything the way we need to. I am gonna use the deluxe brush. Um, it's just more of a dense brush to pack on um, the orange, the orangey brown that we're using in the palette. And I'm just gonna run that. Do you see how well that already like captures how vivid that color is it wouldn't be like this if you didn't wear the primer but I just kind of pack that on over the eyelid 
can make sure that it's all going in one direction. Okay, that's good enough. You can go over your um, line with a fluffy brush just to kind of soften everything up and not let that be a harsh line. Make sure it's blended in a little bit better. It's okay if uh, you have some of this going down below the corner of the eye, even if you have droopy eyes, because we're going to clean that up with the foundation. All right, and I'll take a, just a little bit of the uh, orange and I'm going to go up underneath. waterline. Okay. And it does, it does take a minute. It takes a minute before you can really see how pretty this looks, but just trust the process. Okay. Now we're going to go in with, um, there's this gold, this bronze, and then you have this really dark, pretty sort of like an orangey, uh, metallic. We're going to use that for the center. And we're just going to use our finger and kind of pat that all over the eyelid. If you want it more luminous, popping, glowy, then you're going to wet it a little bit. You can use water. You can use your setting spray. You can use your whatever, anything, basically. And that is just going to make that a little bit more stronger. Right. Going in with the brown with a smaller brush just to pinpoint the corners. And we're going to keep that on the corners up under the eye. And kind of keep that on the outer half of our face. Sometimes I'll wet the brown just to make it stand out a little bit more oh gosh I turned on my notifications on accident with this phone while I'm waiting on my new one to come in and now everything is sending me notification it is driving me crazy it is driving me crazy I get so distracted when notifications pop up on my phone I cannot do it I have to turn them off or I'll be checking my phone 24 7 and I cannot do that for the sake of my mental health so anytime a little bling pops up and I'm like, it, you know, thinking it's something important and it's like TikTok or something. I'm like, are you kidding me right now? All right. So it kind of like, um, what's the word? It kind of mixes in a little bit with this brown. So you got to kind of maybe use a layer or two going back in, kind of starting at the corners and just deepening up right there. It's hard to see sometimes, especially in the camera, but you just got to have fun with it. Okay, take your blending brush. I will go back in with that orange just to kind of soothe stuff over here. Okay, now we're not done yet. So don't get scared. This is where things look a little messy at first. All right. You can skip this part if you don't want a uh, light color in the corner, but I'll either use my highlight or I'll just use a little bit of a lighter metallic -y shade. And I'll kind of run this in the corner of the eye for a highlight and a brightening effect. And you can put that orange back over the top or a yellow or whatever color that you decide. But if you want to keep it just to three shadows, stick with the same colors that you've been using so you don't get too confused, you know, and you're not using like 50 different eyeshadows.
but it kind of gives you like this little yellow ombre look because it's got that shimmery white colored highlight up underneath. If you need a good highlight suggestion, let me know, or you can just use the silvery color that's in this palette. But um, I can help you if you need some suggestions. All right, so it's gonna kind of end up first looking like this, all right, and we're gonna have to do some cleanup. So next comes the uh, foundation. So you're gonna choose whatever foundation. For this, uh, we're gonna use our liquid foundation. You can pick any foundation with your skincare of choice for this month and get a mix and match um, bundle sale special. That is where you get up to 15 to 20% off. If that's something you want, make sure you say nourish. If you just want the eyeshadow bundle we're doing today, make sure you just say eye. Okay, so first I'm going to just take my flat end of my brush and I'm going to go upwards from like under my eye to up over here just to give that a lift and clean up anything that was going past that corner there. And you can use this to kind of paint on your face if you want. I have been loving lately fluffy brushes to do, to apply um, to my face. There's something about it that gives you just a nice like airy look. So I'm gonna do it like that. All right, and once I kind of get the, um, I squeeze my fluffy brush just a little bit to get some control, but once I kind of get up under the eye and through most of the face, I don't know if you can tell, but this is like a mid-range, mid-coverage foundation, and it doesn't cover a lot, but it's already got rid of all that redness, so you don't have to use a lot of layers, and that that's why I like the way that the brush does, because the brush makes it like a lot more I don't know like friendly for aging uh does that I don't know is that a weird way to say it but if you have like a lot of like fine lines and wrinkles and you don't want like the foundation any kind of foundation just settling in there try a fluffy brush if you've just like done some skincare exfoliated it looks amazing all right I'm taking that flat brush again that I was using and I'm just cleaning up right here in the nose bridge to make sure like I didn't go too far and if we need to go back in with the, um, anything with like the highlighter or whatever we can, but I just try to make sure I'm like cleaning up. I probably should have did that before I applied the highlighter, but it'll be all right. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. Go back in with that brown. Don't you dare spill on me there. I know we're not a clean person all the time because like we got a clutter here. I won't say not a clean. I'll say I know we're a disorganized person, but I don't want to miss. All right, I'm just going to back over it with that little brown that we started off with. Okay. It's so fun. You should try experimenting with um, highlights on the inner part of your eye and like go over it with eyeshadow. See how you like it. See if it's like something that you would want and if you like how it looks. You might be surprised. You just might be a surprise. I'm seeing. All right. A little bit more brown just right here at this edge because I noticed like on the other eye. I kind of had it going a little further there. looking really pretty. Okay. Super pretty. All right. So this is basically what I did with my eyes. I did the, uh, the orangish brown first 
Then I use some of the brown right here with some orange highlight on the top. Um, and that just all comes from this palette right here. And um, if you want to add an extra highlight, again, just say highlight and I'll send you like some details of some things I love to use in my everyday. Now, to give your face um, that extra boost, you're gonna want to lift up the eye using your eyeliner. So here's the easy way to do that. Get like cardboard or something that goes up at an angle so you can kind of keep the same angle going on both eyes okay and so where's my little where's my little cardboard that i was using it's almost covered up that's what it is all right so you're gonna go up at an angle like this along where your eyeshadow ends that you cleaned up so it kind of stays consistent and then whatever um hand you like to use you're just going to connect it to the corner of your eye like so then I use little dashes to go from the waterline back to where that wing started to start connecting stay as close to the waterline as possible especially if you have hooded eyes and I just use small little dots or dashes and I just go over it and connect it instead of doing one long line because it tends to be more shakier and crooked and things like that and uneven if I use one long line. All right. There, we went over it. That lifts up the eye right there. Next, what we're gonna do um, is we're going to go over our eyebrow. <clears throat> Just using our brow pencil. Oh my goodness, we have a mess over here. And then I'm gonna also just show you, see how like you have a lot of contour and um, con I wanna say a lot, but you have contour and blush going on here. This one's just plain, it's okay. If you wanna leave it like that, you can, but it adds a lot of warmth and lift to your face. I'll show you how I did that as well. <laughs> Once I can figure out what I do with my brow brush. Brow brush. That's pretty too, cause it kind of like ombres. That's real pretty. Okay, um, and I didn't use any bottom eyeliner with this because I just used my mascara. So that's one really cool part to it. If you want sort of like a lower eyeliner effect without using eyeliner, that will do it. Just pumping up my lashes with this curler. It was so, foundation was ridiculously easy today. I'm just saying. Okay. I don't know what I did with my eye shadow brush. Did it get mixed in? Yeah, I did. All right. Brush up the brow hairs. Oh my gosh. Get off. All right, now that uh, we have this little baby here at our disposal, gonna get to work. It's finally started to warm up enough where the kids can play outside. They have been so antsy about wanting to play outside and I've been letting them play on the VR, the Oculus, whatever you wanna call it. Um, as ways to like get some energy out and to do some things but when it's been so cold they just they haven't been able to go outside and really get all that energy off so they've been like cooped up and kind of having like a little being a little too excited at night to go to bed at proper time so they're not going to wake up on time And I'm pretty sure schools aren't letting kids play a lot outside either when it's cold. They're probably doing stuff in the gym. So that makes Xavier nice and happy when they can play outside. He's my youngest and has the most energy, if that surprises you. I think they steal your energy. The more kids that you have, they just like 
they get all your energy and they use it. All right, I've stopped playing with my brows and that's just gonna have to do. If you find yourself sweating a lot or you have oil on your face, um, get a little bit of some matching uh, eyeshadow that goes with your, your brow pencil and just fill in a couple of areas to help to kind of set it a little bit and uh, just give you a little bit more of a pronounced brow if it just feels like it's like the oils on your forehead or whatever, like disrupting it. Okay. <clears throat> All right, let me show you what I did with my my lips. I'm not sure if I love them, love them, but I was trying something different. So we're gonna take my one of my favorite lip liners and this is called uh, Plush. It's a nice mauve brownish lip liner. kind of just fill it in so I have like sort of a liner primer base if you will okay and I kind of overline my lips a little bit because they're they're small they be small and I'm going to take moneyed which is a nice chocolatey creamy lipstick I fill her in and then I'm going to take a little bit of this color called Minted, which I've talked about before. It's one of my favorites. It's a center color. This lightens everything up nicely. Use my lip brush and just clean this up a little. So let's go into um, the contour part for those who are interested in seeing how I do that. Um, first, we'll go ahead and put our mascara on before we do it, just to make sure that we finish up our eye look. And I've already curled them, so I'm just going to go in with the Quadra. That's the 4-in-1. That's the patent uh, pending 4-in-1 uh, tubing slash lash growth slash mascara slash lash primer four in one so it's called quadra mascara and there's no other one out there on the market that's why the patent is pending so nobody else can get it and it's amazing it is absolutely amazing so easy to come to come off to at the end of the day when you need it to So now that I kind of put mascara on, it looks like I have liner on. It just, it automatically does that for you. Okay. All right. So I like to use this color called uh, chocolate souffle. I'm just going to kind of put that right here and then sort of going down to the jaw and filling that in going up towards the hairline. It almost looks like a weird ear. E. E. Not ear. sure you get the ear. I 
I do not know what the kids are discussing, but they are, like, acting like they're making, like, world life decisions here. Alright, and it's just so pretty and easy to work with. If you want a highlighter, um, I'm using Champagne Shimmer. No, I'm not. I'm using Blurry Frost. Where is my... I don't want Champagne Shimmer. It's orange. Blurry Frost. Hello. I really like Flurry Frost. You're about to see why. It's so pretty. This is a very good um, subtle highlight if you want it not to show up that much on the inside of your eyes, but you want to try it. It's very good for dry skin. Really any, any kind of skin, but... I digress. It's really pretty. All right, touching it up with Juicy Apricot, which is currently my favorite blush for winter time because I feel like everybody needs to have a nice little like warm touch to their cold girl makeup. And do you see that it is not drying at all? Do you see how pretty that looks? It's very, very beautiful on the skin. Very youthful, not capturing the parts where we're aging because we're not hiding the aging, but we don't want to like highlight it either, do we? We're not hiding it, but we're not highlighting it. Does that make sense? So that's very beautiful. And... You know, you don't have to go to work with this kind of eyeshadow, but it's a really pretty one that will give you lots of compliments. If you're going out somewhere, let's go ahead and set this. Just making sure everything is blended. Everything is figure outable, everything is possible in Christ, and everything is able to be blended. <laughs> Alright, that wasn't really that funny. I don't know why I was laughing like I'm the funniest person in the world. <laughs> Does anybody else do that? Like you laugh at your jokes because you, you, I don't know if you just know, maybe nobody will laugh at it, but you think it's funny? Yeah, I totally do. So that's really pretty. That's showing like just putting a little bit of some effort up in there not an everyday look maybe but definitely a really pretty like like I intentionally put some work into this and here I am world all right so like yeah we're done I don't know why but I just always want to keep adding more blush like I feel like you just can't have enough blush in your life it's so pretty all right so I'm gonna go I love you guys don't forget to stay sharp and always be on point I love you